everybody. I'm coming to you from my home office, which is essentially my dining room. Uh, if Nesta's saying hi, he is very much enjoying our sunnier days, a little bit warmer weather. So I am first of all just checking in and hoping that our first week online went well for all of you and that you are um, getting what you need and finding your way around. Using technology and social distancing, I know that creates challenges for our projects and doing interviews, so I'm happy to help you with that as uh, much as I can. Um, a couple things for this week. Uh, I will be hosting, um, you have a, a lecture, so please read through the slides on how to write a review. So one of your upcoming assignments will be to write a review, and these are um, fun because they're one of the rare opportunities we have where we can write in the first person. And what I'm really looking for is that you have a overall recommendation. So uh, right now we're doing takeout. If you wanna do a restaurant, um, certainly there's plenty of opportunities for movies, a video game, but whatever you want to review, um, it could even be a, a trail um, if you're someone who's getting out doing a little bit more walking. So an overall opinion. And then I'm looking for specific reasons that you, you have come to that opinion. So um, not just having an opinion, but what did you base it on and trying to be somewhat specific about that. We should again be thinking about an engaging lead and how you wanna wrap it up. You're welcome to come up with your own rating system. So thumbs up, thumbs down on a scale of zero to 10. Um, so it's an opportunity I think to have a little bit of fun um, try to keep your story to uh, 750 to 1200 words and again it's one of the rare opportunities you have to be able to write in the first person so we do want to know uh, your opinion if you are writing about um, a takeout a restaurant I find it helpful to include prices for things I um, mean you can probably find much of that online and uh, other reviewers I know are opposed to including the price, but when I think about it, I like to think about my readers and what questions do they have. And um, as someone, you know, we're all on tight budgets right now, and we uh, really usually do want to know what it's going to cost us uh, to order from a particular restaurant. So have fun with that. Um, also this week, you need to be finishing up your quiz. So again, I've made this online, so it's open source. You're welcome to look up answers and make sure that you're emailing that to me. This is uh, not to be posted to Blackboard. So nkasalki at madisoncollege.edu. Um, and that is due April 15th by 5.30 p.m. And uh, mostly what I'm looking for is that you know the content. So as long as you can find what you need online, um, I think that's fine. Um, do remember academic integrity, and so this is not a, a group or um, friend project, and so it is your responsibility to find these answers on your own. Um, also on April 15th, you have your uh, feature writer or writer um, project. This is a short report um, that is due also by 5.30 p.m. on the 15th. So what I'm looking for with that assignment is that you've picked a writer that you like, uh, include a short bio and tell us what it is about them that you like and provide a short sample of their writing. So I'm a firm believer that we become better writers through reading and analyzing other writers and thinking about what is it about them we like. It is it their style, maybe it's a subject matter. Are they um, innovative in their writing style? And uh, so hopefully you can also have fun with that. And that assignment also would be fine if you wanted to use the first person. In addition, this week, I want you to be working on your Clarion class projects. We do need to get these turned around. The Clarion is publishing online and they're looking forward to our stories. So you have an April 22nd deadline, 5.30 p.m. for your stories and you need to be working with your partners. If you need contact information for your partner, please let me know immediately and I will get um, their email to you. But um, you should be working virtually and you may want to consider doing something like a Zoom, Z-O-O-M meeting with your partner. Um, these are free up to 40 minutes. You can start an account 
um, and send them an email to invite them at a certain time and you can have discussions that way. Again, I will be um, looking for interviews and I understand, again, this is challenging to do, um, but as much as you can, um, doing Skyping, FaceTiming, um, you know, chats or Zoom, um, and then if those don't work for you and your sources, you, you may consider a phone interview. Um, and in this case, given these times, I'm also accepting um, email interview questions. So we do have a responsibility in Clarion to turn these around. I hope to see you all published. Um, and Nesta has had enough of my lecture, so we'll let him down for the moment. Um, and then finally, I hope you're thinking about your idea for your final project. We are just about five weeks out uh, towards the end of the semester. And again, I am going to try to finish this class on time. Um, hopefully we can uh, set up a, a Zoom meeting at the end of the semester uh, to have our sort of virtual um, farewell. Um, but I will give some more thought to that. But your final project, this is what we've been talking about all semester. So what are some ideas you have for things that make you angry? things that um, we need to change. And these should be um, thinking more systematically. So again, not something that affects one person, but affects many people. Um, and again, you're gonna need several sources for this story. So you need to be thinking about those and um, engaging in interviews for those soon. You also need two sidebars for your final project. And I will accept uh, photo with a caption that you have taken an infographic. Um, you're welcome to use a pro program that I've used called Canva, C-A-N-V-A. It's very easy to make infographics. Um, also a short story. So if you've done an interview and you have um, a really interesting story, but it doesn't end up fitting in your final project, you can pull that out as a sidebar or a help box. And these are great, for example, um, if you have phone numbers, websites, and you want to send people someplace for more information. So I'm thinking for some of you, uh, a help box for how to reach the Tenant Resource Center or a um, source on campus, for example, if you how to contact your student senate. So um, we do need to be working on our, our final projects and uh, thinking about that so that you can get all of your interviews in and also be leaving time for uh, writing and rewriting. And then a reminder that the online writing center is still available to you. So you are welcome to engage with them online, send them copies of your drafts. And as always, I'm happy to take a look at those as well. So congratulations on making it through uh, the first week of online. For some of you, this is a new experience. And for others, you've probably been doing this. Um, I've gotten some questions about summer and fall scheduling. And right now, I think uh, that's still being worked out. So. When I hear more, I will let you know. I believe the summer intro to mass communications and social media writing will be offered online. Um, at this point, I do not know who the instructors for those will be. Um, and I think fall scheduling is still being worked through. So I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. And I truly do miss seeing you guys. Um, you've been a really great class and I feel like I've gotten to know you and uh, so I uh, am doing what I can to continue to stay healthy myself, my family. Uh, we're doing okay. I've never been busier, <laughs> frankly, um, working emergency communications um, for the University of Wisconsin, but it's really important work. And if you didn't know, journalists are considered essential employees. And I think that's really important for us to uh, remind ourselves in the role that journalists play in providing accurate information in a timely way that um, helps keep people safe. And so um, we are all student journalists and uh, I just wanna remind you what you're doing. Um, the work that journalists do is more important now than ever. So thanks and have a great week. Let me know if I can help.